The Halton District School Board's new strategic plan will be launched next year. The board's two student trustees have been working hard to ensure that their student voice when it comes to advising strategy. They've created a mental health advisory task force. Coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the most prominent issues Trustee Wang and I have been hearing from students is about mental health. And it still is, and it's ongoing, right? The, what the pandemic has done to student isolation and student interaction has really affected their mental health inside and outside the classroom. So it's really essential as we you know, emerge from the pandemic that there is a distinct space for students to come together and voice their concerns and advocate for a platform in the board that showcases the student mental health experience within the HDSB. So really allowing that there is student voice at the high, high level to articulate student perspective when it comes to mental health strategy. I think it's very telling that if you ask one student about their mental health and about the support that they're receiving or that the support that they see around them or just the state of student mental health where they are, their response is probably going to be very different from the next person that you ask. And that is rooted in the fact that student mental health is so different across regions, across groups and communities that people belong to, especially when it comes to equity deserving groups. And so when we look across the board, we have such a diverse makeup of students and we also have you know, different supports available to students based on where they are, just due to the fact that individual schools kind of handle student mental health in their own way at times. So it's figuring out how do we ensure that mental health resources address the different identities and different lived experiences of Holton students, while also kind of looking at how we can advocate and standardize mental health resources up in the north to uh, down in urban areas uh, in Burlington or Oakville. Right? And they're going to be looking a lot at the mental health well-being strategy and action plan like Trustee Ruggiero mentioned earlier. But now we're bringing that consultation to a wider group of students so that more students have access to it so that they're coming from different regions of the HDSB and they're coming from different communities and to have a little bit more fulsome conversation and also bring more power to students in these roles so that they're able to go back to all of these different regions that they come from. They're able to reach more students where they are and then bring these conversations and these comments to a higher level. I I think definitely ensuring that we're fostering dialogue about mental health is really important. I think that's really been the barrier. The board offers a lot of resources when it comes to mental health and well-being, whether that's videos online, whether that's you know, supports inside the schools, but it's normalizing that conversation because a lot of students don't feel comfortable, whether that's talking to their friends or to a staff member, to begin their mental health journey. So that's ultimately the root of what we're trying to do is normalize mental health conversation within classrooms so students can clear that red tape and ensure and access those resources that the board is providing so it's a lot more clearer and, and the process to, for a student to address their own mental health concern uh, is a clear one and it's a straightforward one. So. If you're a student looking for support with your mental health, reach out to your guidance counselor at school or a teacher you're comfortable with. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.